Hello, brothers and sisters. Mike from We Are the Saints. I have another word from the Lord for you. Um, this one is very uh, close to my heart. It, uh, I experienced this about six years ago. And it was something similar to this that really brought me into the fullness of the Lord, that I really understood who he was and how much he loved, uh, truly loved me. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, this is definitely a word for someone who stumbles across this video. Um, I sincerely hope that whoever you are, you will listen and, um, you will let it enter into your heart. So I'm going to go ahead and just get the message out here now. So. I sat down with the Lord the other morning and um, I said, I know what's on your heart, Lord. I felt it yesterday because I was out somewhere and I could feel that the Lord was already starting to talk to me, but I wasn't in a place where I could write this stuff down. So I said, just let's talk about it tomorrow morning. And uh, so this morning, that's what I was saying. I know what's in your heart, Lord, and I felt it yesterday. The Lord replied, my heart is for the lost. And I said, Lord, yeah, why, you know, why do people ignore you when you reach out to them? And the Lord replied, he said, the enemy has done a really good job at keeping the world asleep. He is a master at temporary pleasures. And anyone who enters into the trap, it's difficult to get out. So I said, yeah, Lord, I understand. I I know personally I fell for that in like many times. And the Lord said, may I say thousands and thousands. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he was, he was counting the, the times. And I replied, I said, yes, you, you would know, Lord. I mean, um, and even then you still try to look out for me. Even when I made all those mistakes, you still looked out for me. And the Lord continued, of course I did. And when things got really bad, I called out to you, hoping you would take my hand. I said, sorry, Lord, I, I you know, I didn't, I didn't know at the time. I was young and I was foolish and I didn't know, I didn't know I was walking in the dark, in darkness. And the Lord began, this is what I deal with every day rejection. My children, I wait every day for you to see me, and every day I'm turned away. Not everyone turns me away, but suffice to say the majority. My little dove, the jewel of my heart, I am speaking to you on this channel. You have been brought here by my, by my hand and providence. Yes, you, my son and daughter, I'm using my servant, Michael, to speak to you right in this moment. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Is he talking to me? Yes, I am. Right now, in your car, in your bedroom, at the bus stop, at your workplace. My beloved, do not skip this message. It may be your last chance to hear me clearly. I want you to know, I love you. I know that love is not an easy concept for you. You've had a rough go in this life. Your parents were not able to be affectionate to you. And you filled it with whatever the world had as, has as, as an escape. But I want you to know that I never left you, not for one minute. I watched over you and delivered you from many things. Situations that seemed hopeless, yet you got through it. That was me. I did that for you, because I care for you, my child. What I want to convey to you now is this. Choose me. You've tried everything else the world has to offer. The latest self-help routines, spiritual religions, and mantras, only to find... A new fad the very next year 
And then what? The same emptiness and a longing for fulfillment and purpose. That longing, my love, is me. It's because I created you to have this yearning in your heart for me. Like a homing beacon or a lighthouse for me and my father. I created you, my child, with my own hand. And I breathed life. into your nostrils <clears throat> in your mother's womb I knew you before the foundations of the world and so here we are one on one do you want true life do you want joy like never before how about the weight of the world off your shoulders this is just the tip of the iceberg so to speak I will do all this and more on one condition, that you choose me, the one who loves you like no other, the one who died for you and would do it a thousand times over if it meant that on the thousandth time you'd say yes. But you must do this out of your own free will, for what is true love without free will? My little dove, I am waiting for you. Seek, and you will find. Ask, and it will be given to you. Knock, and I will answer you. Do I have to beg for you to show you how much I love you? Because I will. I'm not proud to beg. I beg my father all the time to push back his anger. So I'm begging you, come back to me. Come back now before the door closes. Tell me you're sorry, and you want me in your heart, and I will change you, and you will be with me forever in heaven. Ask me for forgiveness, and it will be granted to you. Acknowledge I died for you, crucified by man. Call out that I am Lord. Oh, what a dance! I will dance as the Father has given another one to me. Yes, I left the ninety-nine for you. All of heaven will lift up their voices and thank God that another child is saved. The decorations for your home in heaven will start in anticipation for your arrival. So you see, my son and daughter, I offer you a life full of purpose and fulfillment. Walk away from the world. It has nothing to offer you anymore. I guarantee you, you'll see a love that you've always wanted. And I will hold you so tight. Please, stop saying you wouldn't want me. Of course I want you. You are exactly who I die for. I saw you while I hung on the cross. I saw the sin in your life. And I still love you. Do you really think you are worse than someone who pretends to have it all together? A nice home? A good job? Happy family? No, I tell you the truth. That their sin is like dirty filth to me. And if they turned to me and asked me for forgiveness, I would give it to them too. For he that is forgiven much, loves much. He that is forgiven little, loves little. Have I done enough begging? Do you want me to beg some more? My darling, time is short. And I am coming back soon. Choose me, the lover of your soul. Jesus of Nazareth. And that was the end of the message. Um, I don't know who that's for. But whoever it's for... Uh, I've only seen the Lord like this a few times where he is literally begging for you to choose him. Uh, you know, I was very similar. My testimony is on this channel. If you want to watch it, 
It's the first two videos. <sighs> I'm, I hope you make the right choice. I'll see you in the next video. Shalom.